It's been deja vu for the last three years now. Ever since 2017, the CMU baseball team has met up with Colorado Mines in the RMAC Tournament Championship game. In the past two years, the Mavs have beaten the Ore Diggers twice to grab the title. And they did it again, but this time, they only needed one game to do it. Mavs went into the game with a game to spare, but the Ore Diggers, they lost the first game of the tourney, so they'll have to win. But Hunter Douglas was not going to let that happen. Sets the tone with a lead off double and asks the fans if they're entertained. So far, so good, and he ends up on third and a deep grounder to short by Jordan Stubbings. He's going to score Dougie fresh. Stubbings is out, but Mavs strike first. That would do it for the opening frame. one nothing CMU. Top of the second, though, John Howard settles the score quite literally. Sends a pitch back up the middle with runners on the corners. Now we're tied at one, and things are getting interesting. But the next inning, Josh Shapiro loves stargazing and sends this ball to the moon. That's why you can't even see it land. Johnny Carr and Spencer Barnwell were on base to score the three-run moonshot. Shapiro makes it a 4-1 ball game, but the Mavs weren't done. In the second, Stubbings at the plate with Douglas on third again. Puts the ball in play, and that's when good things happen. Third baseman couldn't handle the heat, and that error would score Hunter. CMU up by four, and Ore Diggers, they had some and things to work out, but AJ Landis was thriving on the mound. Huge K to get out of the bases loaded jam ends the day with six innings of work and eight strikeouts. Now back to the astronomer Josh Shapiro, his second at bat of the day, and that goes down the first baseline, and it's fair. Hayden McGeary jogs it on home, but Chase Hamilton kicks it into fifth gear, coming from first and gets home slip and slide style. While Shapiro ends up on third with a two RBI triple. He had six RBI in the game and a double away from the cycle. Mavs up big, but Hunter is teaching everyone how to Dougie, and this is how it's done. Two-run goner in the seventh to make it a 13-2 score, and that would be the final. Mavs go undefeated in the conference tournament to earn their sixth straight RMAC tournament title. Business as usual for CMU as it's going back to the NCAA regional tournament, and even though this feels good, that's what they have their eyes set on. I was real proud of our guys, the way they competed. Uh, AJ had a great outing and gave us a shot from the outset, and that's all we asked him to do. And we got some timely hits. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll certainly take it. I'm proud of these guys, and, and now we'll move forward and try to refocus for the regional. Just stuck to the process, uh, put the trust on the other guys to get on, and I think just a few of the pitches were there, and the ball went where it went. <laughs> just keeping them focused and locked in, especially when we get up by a a lot of runs, you know, it's easy to just fall into a comfort zone. So to keep the intensity up and just keep yelling at him. We're on to regionals. Josh Sapiro, Will Dixon, Trevin Reynolds, Hunter Douglas, all were named to the RMAC All-Tournament team, while sophomore catcher Spencer Bramwell was named the most valuable player. And it's funny because when I asked him how it felt to be named the MVP, he replied, great. And that, and that was it. <laughs> he lets his play do the talking. So now we wait to see if CMU will host the NCAA Regional Tournament, which starts this Thursday. And since they are ranked the number one team in the country, they should, but things are still up in the air. So we're going to keep you updated with how they do and who they play. But